So one of the things that Dr. Park and I have noticed is that many people when they come in for a facial rejuvenation consult will focus really on their neck. So they'll come in and they'll say, I really want a facelift. What they point to and what they grasp is the excess skin hanging around their neck. And I would say of all the different facial rejuvenation consults that I personally see, this is probably the number one complaint. And most patients are correct that their neck, you know, that a neck lift is a regular part of a facelift or a facial rejuvenation procedure. But it is important to know that really there are certain things we could do to really isolate that neck area and give you the result that you want. So the couple different things that we see, the first one is the relatively mild excess and what we call the submental fat. So if you look right behind the chin crease, most people will have a little bit of excess fat here, but in a youthful appearing face, that area should be concave, not convex, meaning it should go in rather than out. So if you have mostly fat there, just a little bit of excess skin, we can do just a little bit of liposuction, either regular liposuction or laser assisted liposuction to help with skin tightening and really get that area uh, contoured like you want it to. Sort of the second grade, as I would call it, or the grade two um, would be uh, really more um, skin than fat, in which case you really have to just kind of pull that skin tighter in some, in some way, shape or form. And the most common way to do that, like I said, is through a facelift style incision. Facelifts are done with a small incision in front of the ear, coming up behind the ear and reaching back into the hairline. And when we do that, we will get all the skin of the lower face and neck and pull it back that way. Um, it's often coupled with a small incision underneath the skin uh, of the chin, and that will help tighten this little area, as we already talked about, right behind the chin. Really, the, one of the hardest things to treat and sort of the most severe form of, uh, of what you was commonly called a turkey neck um, is a lot of skin and then what we call platysmal banding. And that you know, there's two lines that come down across the neck that everyone hates. And uh, that's actually a muscle, a very, very thin muscle that is present in everyone. But in some people as you age, it will become more prominent and even though it's supposed to be together in midline it will split apart and so really to treat the neck appropriately and get you the contour that you want you have to treat that muscle somehow and we can either do that through the ear incision as i already talked about or again from the small incision underneath the chin which is more common in a combination face and neck lift so you know sort of the two different ways to think about it are if you're doing a neck lift, we will also treat your lower face and jowling area. Uh, and if you're doing a facelift, we will treat that area, but then we will also include the neck skin. So you can do an isolated neck lift and include the lower part of the face. You can do an isolated facelift and include the neck, but often we'll do the two together uh, and just do a combination procedure because most people presenting for either or complaint will also have the other. Um, so if this is something that bothers you from aging or from weight loss, just give either Dr. Park and I and call and we can schedule you a virtual or uh, in-person consultation.